Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to set or add a condition to a form. So let me just show you what I mean by previewing this project. And as you can see, we have a form over here. Now we should, in case we fill this, fill this, and then we want to go ahead and hit on submit. There's no way this form is going to be submitted until we check the checkbox we have here. So as you can see, after checking this, when I hit on this, there is a movement and you can see that the button has taken effect. So let me just go ahead and close this. And then let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'll come to my project. And then when I come here, let me just go ahead and create a new form. So I'll come here, hit on new, create a new page. And then I'm going to come to my two box and then come to the form section. So another form section, I'm going to select my form area. And then I'm going to select my edit box. So I'll have my first edit box here. So let me just double click on this and change this to that's a placeholder to name. And then go ahead and hit on OK. Let me right click on this, go to pattern and set about 10 pixels to the left. Go ahead and hit on OK. And then come back here. Uh, let me just make a copy of this, paste that here. And then this is going to be my email address. So let me just type this email address. And then change the type to that is email i'll go ahead and hit on ok now let me just reduce the width of my form here a bit and then reposition this in the middle of it now come here and then i'm going to look for my checkbox so i'll select my checkbox here and then i'm going to draw here so that is going to be my checkbox i'll come here and bring my button also so this is going to be my button let me just change the size of this to about 120 by that is going to be 35 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on ok and then let me just reposition that here now i'm going to let me just expand this to the bottom a bit and then come to my text i'll select the text from the section and then i'm going to draw here and then i'm going to have some kind of text in it so this is going to be agree to terms and conditions so i'm going to have that as a label for my that's my checkbox here i can either use a label itself but i'm using this that is a test because i might probably want to link the test and condition to a different page and i wouldn't be able to achieve that with the label let me just bring the label so that you can have a look at it so this is going to be the label as you can see if i bring it in here and i type i can't have this link to anything so i might want to use test over the label um, object so i'm now going to set an event to this first of all i'm going to change the name of this button to submit and then i'll come here and double click on my checkbox here so i'll double click on the checkbox and then when you come here you see there's a condition section so i'll come to the condition section and then i'm going to add my condition so the condition is going to be on check that is um enable the that is going to be my submit this then if it's not checked it is going to be disabled so i'm going to add another one on not checked so this is going to be disable the submit button let me just come back here and then make sure this is right so unchecked it is going to be enabled or not checked it is going to be disabled let me just move this up so that this starts first and then this is going to be continued now I'll come back to general and then I'll make sure that my checkbox is not going to be checked by default. So that is it. And then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let me just preview this in my browser and see how it is going to look. So as you can see, there's no way I can click to submit this form until I check this. And then when I check it, then I'll be able to submit the form. So that is how to create this particular condition form in WYSIWYG Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.